Hey guys, uh, long time no see. Um, I realized that I haven't filmed an actual video in probably almost a year now, and I apologize for that. Life is just crazy. <laughs> but we're actually just gonna get onto the video. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Taylor. I just graduated from William Peace University. Um, and this is going to be my senior year of college experience, which is kind of weird to say, uh, no lie. Um, but this is what this is. So if you uh, enjoy the content here, you can subscribe. If not, that's absolutely fine. But we're just going to get right into it. So uh, senior year. Senior year was actually really cool. Um, I got to do so many experiences that I never thought I would have. Um, this year was also kind of hard, not in the fact of schoolwork, even though that was kind of hard as well, but um, more so as my friendships and my knowing that I could do stuff on my own type of test, if you will, and that's why it was a lot harder. Um, two of my friends who I love dearly, who I spent a lot of time with, my uh junior year of college could not come well weren't there pretty much for my <laughs> senior year of college and that was really hard on me because i really just spent my time with them and they were absolutely awesome and they're not dead but they, they're very very cool um still they just couldn't be here that for that particular year um so i had to find kind of a new friend group I kind of had to realize that you know what you had to kind of do this your freshman year um doing stuff on your own is completely okay and that's what I did I did stuff completely on my own this year um I did find a new set of friends uh who I maybe talked to for a while but just didn't click with their friend group and I realized that oh it's cool to hang out it's cool to do homework alone it's cool to um, do homework with this set of friends or this set of friends to so just try out a new group and it's great, you know, just try to do all that together. Um, but really how my senior year went, it was a toss up in a way. Um, the first part of my senior year from August to we can say December, because that's when my first semester ended. Um, we I did a lot of activities and events with my uh, Black Student Union group. I was actually vice president this year, which was really cool. Um, I also got to hang out, like I said, with new friend groups, got to try some of that out and also realized that if I start putting myself first and start putting my mental health first, it would be better. And it was. Um, I was having less anxiety and having less attacks and it was really interesting to see it in that perspective when I started putting myself first so kind of if you want to take advice out of that make sure you prioritize yourself make sure you prioritize your health and your well-being and it's fine if you do that over school just don't do it too much because that's how you become lazy but do it so that you're not constantly doing homework at this late hour or this late hour because it's going to tear you down mentally and cause you to have anxiety, cause you to be depressed because you're always working all the time. And that's something that shouldn't happen. Um, also this year, I got a chance to do an internship. So uh, basically how that kind of worked at William Peace University, all students are required to do it in at least one internship to graduate. And so senior year is when I took the class. And I actually found an internship with a really cool place that deals with kids. I'm not going to mention it for the fact that I still work there. Um, but it was really cool. Um, it opened my eyes to kind of what I wanted to do in the future. And what I mean by that, like I said, if you're new again, um, I want to be a high school guidance counselor. I studied writing and psychology. I have now two bachelor's degrees in both those subjects. And I want to be a high school guidance counselor to make sure we get people on the mend to make sure that kids understand that their future is theirs and that they if they really really try they can go further deep into it and that's something that I want to do in the future um and by doing this internship it made me realize can I work with younger kids can I help them and try 
make sure that they're on the right path to making a bright future. And it was really interesting to see that. Um, also, including my internship, I got to go to other clubs events. Um, I also got to see a new perspective of writing. I had to take an intro to PR class because I needed another comm class for my writing major. And I wanted to realize, well, can I do PR? I like I, PR. It's kind of cool, you know. Um, I really didn't want to dabble in journalism. So PR, it is. And PR is hard, guys. PR is very hard. But I managed to do well, very well in the class, and I could be happier. Um, I also got to go... Uh, my friend's birthday was in November, so I got to go to a party, got to go to a restaurant. It was really cool and stuff like that. So first half of senior year, it went really well. And I was so happy that I'm making like, you know, my final memories here and doing all that. Then we get to the second half of the semester. And that's where stuff kind of falls apart. Um, the first half from January to the early March, <laughs> like maybe March 1st was where this, uh, we were hearing stuff about the novel COVID-19 virus, which is, you know, where, what's happening currently. Um, and so, like I said, from January to, uh, early, early March, things were still running smoothly. At my school, we were doing more events. We, I was working more. I was putting myself more. I was having less anxiety. It was really cool. Um, and I thought nothing could get better than this until early March, like I said. Um, I know everybody knows what's going on. They see the news. They know why they're staying all home. But the coronavirus kind of hit. Um... Like I said, I go to school in North Carolina, if you didn't know that, so I'm on the East Coast. Um, the novel, the COVID-19 virus hit the United States probably like late December, early January, I believe, but it was on the West Coast. So I wasn't exactly worried about it yet. I was like, well, it's going to take some time. I live across the country. It's fine. Um, February, things were kind of ramping up. It was getting a little worse, but... You know, I was like, okay, well, if you know it's a little worse and people are dying and it sucks, but it's not here in North Carolina. I have nothing to worry about. Around maybe March, I want to say 7th or 6th or something like that, we got word that the first case was in North Carolina and that the first case was in Wake County. I go to school in Wake County, so I started to get a little worried. <laughs> like, great, like, that's not good, you know, um... But you know what? We're just going to power through it. I kept doing my work as normal. I kept working as normal. We were all kind of talking about it. We were all kind of t also taking steps in place to make sure that the school was safe. And we got more hand sanitizers. We wiped down furniture. Everything we came in and out of, we were wiping down. And then March 13th hit. Um, the way I set up my schedule for this particular semester, for the spring semester, was that I didn't have classes on Fridays. Remember that when I say this. I didn't have classes on Fridays. March 13th was a Thursday. Um, I was actually kind of happy. I My friend took me to work. Uh, my internship then became a job, so that's why I say work. Um, and we were working at the same place. She was doing her internship there as well she gave me a ride and we were as we were waiting for this uh place to open we kind of scrolled through our emails and we were getting emails about school potentially closing um we kind of thought about that all week like school closing like that's crazy we got the email that school would be closed for the rest of the semester um we were kind of heard about it um because you know this is our senior year and it was crazy that you know we had to end the school year like that but that's kind of what happened and i know too we got a second email but we about because we both lived in residential halls i lived on campus and she lived on a, in an apartment but she lived in an apartment off campus um but it was still campus property if you will um and we didn't get the second email about the we did get the second email about the residence but we couldn't read it because we were 
doing our jobs. We got off about six um, that day or like a little after six and we went in the car and I was reading the email because she, obviously she's driving, she can't read it. And I was like, so not only are classes ending for the rest of the semester, if you live in a residence hall, you have about two days to move all your shit, mm, excuse me, to move all your crap out and leave. That's when I truly broke down. Um, I couldn't believe it at that point. Like I said, uh, March 13th was a Thursday. I set up my classes this semester so that I wouldn't have classes on Fridays. They said that March 14th, which was the next day, would be the last day of class in, in classes on campus for the semester. I don't have classes on Fridays. So not unknowingly, I lived my last day of class at William Peace University. And that was also a little hard to hit. Um, not only that, but they said the week of March 16th through March 20th, we would have no classes. And then we would go online on March 23rd. Um, the week of March 16th to March 20th, actually in the middle of the week, March 18th, that was my birthday. <laughs> so um, not only would I not be able to spend my birthday with my friends, I wouldn't go to class. I This was like the first birthday in a while where I was like really kind of excited about, but I couldn't spend it with any of my friends. I actually, on that day, I packed up my stuff because they gave us an extension to leave. Um, so I kind of went that day to kind of pack up my stuff in my dorm. Um, it was also kind of sad because the day that they announced classes ended was actually an event day. We were having Founders Day um, when the college was founded and a lot of stuff that day was canceled. Um, Red Rose Ball, which is our prom, was canceled. That was actually the same week as my birthday. Um, and a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff kind of happened that day. Um, I was, like I said, um, I am part of the class of 2020. I can imagine that high schoolers looking at this right now who are also a part of the class of 2020 is probably hurt, confused. They don't know what's going to happen next. All of their events that they had towards the end of the semester, completely gone, completely shattered. They may fear starting college with this new virus because they may have to start online. They probably can't start the way they want to. And I know that that's scary, but... I believe in you guys. I truly do. And um, kind of getting back on track, I finished my, because we only had six weeks left of school. So we finished it online. Um, a lot of people in, in classes either did Zoom. Um, most of my classes either did um, videos on YouTube or we did Google Hangouts. So that's another way to kind of do school along. Um, one of my classes, I took two senior seminar classes because one is required to graduate, or well, they're both required to graduate, but one was required for everybody to take to graduate, and then I also had a senior seminar that was, uh, the psychology one, so I had to take that one as well, and, um, <laughs> my senior seminar class that I have to take, I had, that was required for me to take for my psychology class was presentation based. So I had to do the rest of my presentations for the rest of the semester over Google Hangouts. Pretty, pretty, pretty exciting <laughs> to say the least. Pretty exciting. Um, so all I wanted to get out of this, guys, is that I know it's hard and I know that this time is scary and it's something that no one ever really expected, but we can do this. We can do this as a collective. If you make sure you prioritize your health, that you're not freaking yourself out too much, that just because you got a C on a paper, that's not bad. You passed and that it's okay to make sure that you come first because grades do not matter. Grades don't matter. Um, as for future plans, I am currently, I want to go to graduate school. That is something that I want to do to get something 
done. Um, this is probably the worst time to find a job in, you know, this market as the economy is currently failing, but um, it's something that I have to do. I'm choosing to take a gap year before I start graduate school just because the thought of preparing for graduate school and getting the reference letters and stuff kind of freaked me out too much um, to do it all over again. So I'm taking a gap year and I'm trying to find a job, which is really hard during this uh, pandemic to say the least, but guys, we can do this together. And for if the high school class of 2020 happens to be watching this just for fun or something, I'm sorry that your stuff got short, your year got cut short. Um, my year also got cut short. So I know that even though it's tough, we can bear through it. We can finish out the year strong. We're going to have a graduation at some point. Oh yeah, that's another thing. My graduation was also postponed. Um, I was supposed to graduate on May 2nd. And at the time I'm filming this is probably... I'm filming this May. So yeah, it <laughs> it's, it's tough, but we're going to get through it. I believe in you, class of 2020, no matter if you're a high school student, a middle school student, a elementary school student, or other college students who may be watching this, I believe in you. Um, also to the class of 2021, I don't know what's going to happen with your graduation or if it's going to happen or stuff like that. Hopefully this doesn't last a year, but this video is for you guys, class of 2020 and class of 2021, especially class of 2021. And I hope the best for you. I really do. I hope you kill it your senior year. And so, yeah, that's really all I had to say on my experience. Uh, it was more less. It was more so experience less than advice, just because of the virus. I couldn't really give you a lot of advice, but if I could tell you something, make sure you do it for the last time, because I know this video is getting kind of lengthy. Um, make sure you prioritize yourself. Also, network. Um, network a lot during this year because. You never know if this virus will still be around. You want to make sure that if you're going to an internship that you keep their numbers, you keep their information saved so that when you do get a job, they could consider hiring you at the end of your internship. Or you have these network plans so that you can get another job in your correct field, um, especially with the economy like this now. <laughs> I hate myself for not networking enough, but network. Go to your career services at your school and make sure you network. Make sure you talk to them. Make sure you get resume. Um, look at your resume. Make sure you look at your cover letters. Stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say on the matter. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. Hit the bell. Um, I don't know when next time I'll make a video, especially since my college adventures are done. Maybe I'll do something on my job search. That might be a fun little series to do. But if not, again, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys and peace out. Bye.